Hello everyone and welcome back to our Python course. For this lecture we will be talking about while loops. So a while loop is something like a clock and it's different from, from a for loop because it is basically kind of like a combination between a for loop and an if statement. So it's something where you don't know when your loop will stop. And it keeps on iterating until your condition is met. So let's do an example of a while loop. So you, let's say you want to return the length of an inputted list without using length. So you basically want to count the length of a list, but instead of using length, you're going to use a while loop. So our condition here is that if our list is not empty, so you're just going to keep on iterating through it, or just keep on continuing. So while list is not equal to an empty list, you keep on popping from the list, and then you add one, because you just want to shorten the length, and then you just want to keep on adding one. So your count will, in the end, be six, because you're just going to keep on popping. So I pop one, add one to count. Pop two, add one to count. Keep on go doing that until your list is empty. That's when your while loop will meet its condition. And then your count will be six. So our next lecture is going to look at functions, but I just want to do another demonstration with while loops. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's say um, I have a list called cargo. And then my condition is that if my list is not equal to an empty list, so just print hello. Sorry, cargo is not equal to an empty list. And I want you to try and think what's going to happen to it when I run it. And this is just going to go on forever and ever until basically my computer crashes. <laughs> but I just wanted to give you an idea of what's going on. I, I said the condition will stop in the while loop once it's met. But your cargo here is never empty. so. All it's doing is just going to print hello, 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 infinitely, and it's never going to stop. So that's basically a downside of while loops because you can just keep on running infinitely and then your program can end up crashing. Um, that's a lot of, that's basically a mistake a lot of programmers can do sometimes. So the most important thing about while loops is just always look at the condition that you are given, and that your condition should never result in an infinite thing. So that's just an example I wanted to give to you, and just try to do some practice on while loops, and I think you're good to go. Um, for our next lecture, we will talk about functions, so um, stay tuned.